Raj is from India, a tropical country, third world hygiene. Parasitic infections are common, such as pinworms. Mm -hmm. The procedure for diagnosing pinworms is to wait until the subject is asleep and the worms crawl out of the rectum for air. <laughs> Yes, just like that. <laughs> Kenny could have been inspecting Raj's anal region for parasites. <laughs> oh boy, that's a true blue friend. Come in. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, you were always so nice to me. I thought maybe you liked me. I'm nice to everyone! I'm sorry. Damn right you're sorry. And you tell Howard there's never been anything between us. I will. Hey, Bernadette? What? Do you think I have a shot with Benny? Of course you do! You're a cutie pie! Any girl would be lucky to have you! like living with a chihuahua. Good <laughs> <Yeah>, try. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> Wait, like this? Almost, really get your tongue in there to activate the motion sensor. Like this? Close. Really French it. Uh. Better? Yeah, you got it. You got it. I'm impressed. This is very lifelike. Well, you just bit my tongue. Oh, I, I nibbled. I was being playful. <laughs> Why do you have to make everything weird? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your mom and I need your breakfast. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you guys are getting along? Yeah, I guess. We're very different people, Howard, so communication's a little tricky. Any butter? It's butter flavored syrup. Star, what's the word? He wants butter! <laughs> it's butter flavored syrup! I just told him that! <laughs> I don't need any butter. If you want butter, I'll get you butter. <laughs> well, I guess I'll cut these by myself. <laughs> a ghostly moan, a rattling of chains, a witch's cackle, trifecta of haunted house cliches. Instead of eek, I say yawn. The walls are dripping blood, which looks nothing like a phenolphthalein indicator exposed to a sodium carbonate solution. 
see you in hell, Sheldon. The most frightening thing about that is the missing comma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that one was clever. Skeleton with phosphorus on a zip line. Come on out, merry pranksters. Take a bow. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Oh, yes, there's nothing quite like the slightly widened eyes of mildly startled. Come on, admit it, we got you, Please. Sheldon. Please. Fright depends on an element of surprise. The simple fact is, because I am much smarter than you and able to anticipate your actions, it is highly unlikely that you two rubes could ever surprise me. He's probably right. We can't beat him. He's just too smart. Gentlemen. <laughs> Who had money on faints? Uh, I had B.S. Benz. <laughs> Hang on. Looks like everyone's a winner. Hey, Sheldon. Who is it? It's me, Sheldon, Mrs. Wallowitz. That's not my mom. It's Bernadette. <laughs> Really? That's very unsettling. Hi, Sheldon. Did you know that when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he proposed answering it with ahoy? Ahoy! <laughs> I like it. Amy, is that you? Have you been drinking? I'm sorry, I bet my sweet what? All right, we're on our way. What's going on? Well, it would seem Amy is drunk in a liquor store parking lot. Really? Amy? Well, Leonard, be glad you can't keep a woman. They are a handful. Oh, look, it's Sheldon and little Leonard. Hi, little Leonard. Hi, Amy. Hey, Cuddles. Cuddles? Yes, Cuddles. We cuddled. Grow up, Leonard. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing here? Well, I came here to get a bottle of wine like Penny taught me to do when you're sad. <laughs> yeah, but why didn't you go back to your apartment? Didn't you go to high school, Leonard? Parking lots are where all the cool kids hang out. <laughs> Not that the rat bastards ever invited me. Maybe we should get you home. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sheldon, what would it take for you to go into that liquor store Buy a bottle of hooch, take me across the street to that motel, and have your way with me. Yeah, Sheldon, what would it take? I'm begging both of you, please, let's go. Oh. Come on. Upsy daisy. Yay! Oh, finally, someone found second base. <laughs> Who do we love? Penny. Penny. Who do we love? Penny. Hello, Sheldon. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Sheldon. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sheldon, what are you doing here? The thought of you sitting in a darkened theater with a character like Stuart is repellent. <laughs> no offense, Stuart. None taken. Although repellent is kind of a kind of a strong word. I'm sorry this causes you discomfort, but based on the currently established parameters of our relationship, I can put myself in any repellent situation I want. Um again, Stuart, please, you're being rude. Anything else? I believe I would like to alter the paradigm of our relationship. I'm listening. With the understanding that nothing changes whatsoever, physical or otherwise, I would not object to us no longer characterizing you as not my girlfriend. <laughs> Interesting. Now try it without the quadruple negative. You're being impossible. 
Hi, Stuart. <laughs> Fine. Amy, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yes. Well, that's enough of that. I haven't seen this trick in years. It's called the dove pan. You let everyone see the pan is empty, but there's a secret compartment in the lid. And then you open it and produce a live... Don't look in there. And now, all the rings are magically linked together. <laughs> yeah, my fiance's wearing a magic ring, too. It made all my money disappear. <laughs> oh, all right. And now, the great Houdini's next miraculous illusion. When are we going to have cake? After you've been thoroughly amazed. <laughs> but we want cake now. Well, you're not getting cake right now, capiche? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> now, my lovely assistant is going to bring me an ordinary pitcher of milk. I know how you do that trick. Do you know how to pipe down? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're going to roll up this newspaper. It's a fake picture. You got wax in your ears? The man said it's an ordinary picture. <laughs> Howdy. Okay, we're going to stick this in here, and then I'm going to pour in the milk. <laughs> I hope this works because I didn't bring a change of pants. <laughs> Look, I Googled it. It's a fake picture. <laughs> No cake for you. Anyone else want to join the no cake club? She's <laughs> just kidding, boys and girls. Everyone gets cake. Not him. <laughs> just give me the picture. <clears throat> Behold. Hello, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and welcome to the premiere episode of Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun with Flags. <laughs> Over the next 52 weeks, you and I are going to explore the dynamic world of vexillology. Hang on, Dr. C, what's vexillology? <laughs> vexillology is the study of flags. Cool. I think I just learned something. Did you have fun doing it? I'll say. Fun and information are two sides to this video podcast, not unlike the only two-sided state flag, Oregon. Oh, look. Well, hello, Mr. Beaver. In future episodes, we'll answer some burning questions. What's the only non-rectangular flag? What animal appears most often on flags? What animal appears second most often on flags? <laughs> and more. Sweet! Why are you waving a white flag? I'm surrendering to fun. <laughs> Today's episode of Fun with Flags is not fun, <laughs> but it is important. Flags, you gotta know how to hold them, you gotta know how to fold them. <laughs> Let's start by identifying the parts of our flag. This edge is the hoist, and excuse it's me. used Sorry. to carry the- Excuse me. <laughs> Cut. Hello, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and welcome to the premiere episode of Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun with Flags. <laughs> Over the next 52 weeks, you and I are going to explore the dynamic world of vexillology. 
Hang on, Dr. Cooper. What's vexillology? Vexillology? Is, why is there a face on that flag? It's Ferdinand T. Flag. I thought he might help bring in some younger viewers. Confound it. You're right. It's brilliant. Let's take it from the top. You are cute when you get all gangsta. So, I've got a gunshot wound. That's pretty badass. No, you've got a Reebok with a gunshot wound and an ouchie on your pinky toe. <laughs> Hello, they gave me a Band-Aid. Hospitals do not issue Band-Aids unless it is medically necessary. That is the law. Guten Tag, das YouTube. Ich bin ein Bavarian. Und ich bin eine Pretzel. Und this is Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun. Mit Flags. Oh, good, your power's out too. Why is that good? Because last month I sent the electric company a Starbucks gift card, an apology note, and a few snapshots of me in a bra. I thought you said candles were dangerous. This is a Bunsen burner. <laughs> I'm a scientist. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Took me a gallon of urine to make that water. survival training in the wilderness. <laughs> big fun, big, big fun. <laughs> I was gonna freshen up for you, but I blacked out a little on the way to the bathroom. Survival training, is that like camping? Uh-huh, except you don't have food or water, and they don't have a sunset Sabbath service like they do at Camp Hess Kramer. <laughs> Do you sleep in tents? No. I slept in a hole I dug in the ground with my bare hands. And at some point during the night, an armadillo crawled in and spooned me. Poor baby. But I did it. I survived. I wasn't sure I was going to when the sandstorm hit. Just pulled my turtleneck up over my head and waited for death. <laughs> but somehow, as I sat there, wrapped in a cocoon of my own neck sweat, I found that primal part of the human spirit that just wants to keep on living, <laughs> no matter what the cost. You're so brave. I'm proud of you. I ate a butterfly. <laughs> it was so small. <laughs> Beautiful. I was so hungry. Don't let this be Sheldon playing bongos. Please don't let this be Sheldon playing bongos. Hello, Leonard. Do you like my bongos? Bet you didn't know that I had bongos. Sheldon, it's three o'clock in the morning. Three in the morning is a good time for bongos. I was sleeping. Leonard sleeps while I play bongos. No, he doesn't. Leonard no sleep while I play bongos. Bongo solo. Oh, hi, Penny.
me. Guess what? Sheldon got bongos. <laughs> Why did you get bongos? Richard Feynman played the bongos. I thought I'd give that a try. Richard Feynman was a famous physicist. Oh, Leonard, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't care if Richard Feynman was a purple leprechaun who lived in my butt. Penny meant if he were a purple leprechaun. Penny forgot to use the subjunctive. Sheldon, go to bed. You have work in the morning. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe tomorrow I start a bongo band and tour the world. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, uh, roommate agreement. Uh, um, no uh, hoot nannies, sing alongs, or barbershop quartets after 10 p.m. Roommate agreement? Are you kidding? We are living in a world of chaos. <laughs> Roommate agreement. Where are you going? Wherever the music takes me, kitten. <laughs> I play bongos walking down the stairs. Oh! showed up in the middle of the night with his bongos. I foolishly thought it was some sort of musical booty call. Poor guy. He must have been exhausted. Shouldn't like to sleep behind a kind of bongo. It was kind of uncalled for. No, it was called for. Once you open the box, it loses its value. Yeah, yeah, my mom gave me the same lecture about my virginity. <laughs> I tell you, it was a lot more fun taking it out and playing with it. I think we found someone for you to cuddle with. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Aren't you the cutest little Yorkie ever? <laughs> you got him for me? Her. We thought you two would hit it off. <laughs> I think we already have. Thank you guys so much. Let's go see if you fit in my man purse. <laughs> Get your sexual my ass. What are you all staring at? Have you ever seen a man try to get a meeting with Stephen Hawking before? <laughs> Once he set up our beautiful wedding website with cute little facts about our family histories. Do you know, for a while in Poland, my family and his family were neighbors. Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. I'll explain it to you later. Howard Joel Wallowitz, like you, this is going to be short and sweet. <laughs> I love you with all my heart and soul and promise to be with you forever. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostenkowski. She's the only woman who can yell at me! <laughs> Until I met you, I couldn't imagine spending my life with just one person. <laughs> and now I can't imagine spending one day of it without you. By the power vested in us, by the state of California, and the Klingon High Council. <laughs> We, we now, now pronounce, pronounce you husband.